My name's Daryl Dixon. I went out looking for something, and all I found was trouble. If I don't make it back, I want them to know I tried. Hell, I'm still trying. What can fans expect from season one? It's epic in scale. There's some very heartbreaking moments, some insane action moments. There's something really exciting about having it set somewhere completely different and seeing what the apocalypse looks like on the other side of the ocean. It's very different than what I'm used to. Shooting the show in France gives us a lot of opportunities to do things that we haven't done before. We're in situations these characters would have never been in in the United States. You know, you don't have castles with moats. It's a castle here, it's an abbey there, it's the catacombs over here, and the Eiffel Tower there. So we really allow the audience a different perspective into the Walking Dead world. Daryl, I don't think he would have ever imagined any of this. It's a new start of a story with this character that I've been playing for 13 years, and it feels so fresh to me. Monsieur, ça va? Ça va? I'm sorry, I don't understand you. In season one, Daryl is first off trying to figure out where he's at. How does he get out of here? You're from America? How did you come to be in France? A bunch of bad decisions. What is this place, like a convent or something? Through circumstance, he ends up with a group of nuns. And for him to find his way back home, he's got to follow a map that a priest has left behind with a young boy. Laurent lived all his life with nuns. He wants to be a little kid who has friends, but it's hard for him because he's very protected. Isabel, she believes that he has this incredible mission. Humanity is enduring a test from which we will soon be delivered. Isabel is an unusual kind of nun. She's part of a resistance network. Killer nuns, huh? We can defend ourselves if we need to. Sylvie is fierce. <laughs> she can fight and she's not scared. She wants to help Laurent and Isabel. And in a world where everything can just fall apart at any minute, they realize Daryl is the man to lead them. You can't leave, not without us. I've already made plans. I ain't looking to make any more. To get back home, Daryl, he's got to take this group with him. It's a treacherous past north. Hard to find your way. Harder if you don't speak French. But then, of course, the season is full of surprises. Caudron is a French soldier. Definitely, he will be seen as a villain. It's mayhem. They're just trying to survive and trying to get out. What you see is really interesting. There's an elegance about the savagery that's on the show. We're picking up the Jeopardy by adding an element that Daryl and the other characters don't understand. So it's this sort of epic journey and all of the turmoil that creates on the way and that this group is running from it comes to haunt him. And it's in full force. <laughs>